Hi, it's Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. When we look at the knee, now we're going to look at PCL. So we've got two options. One of the ways is to put them in a, looks like an anterior drawer, but a posterior drawer. Put them in that same position. Okay, look at their resting position. Then what I'm going to do is I can come in either through here or I can come through here. What I want to do is a anterior to posterior glide. Again, look at the tibial tubercle. Just to see it, if it's sitting in the same plane, sometimes with a PCL, it'll be, it'll be backwards to start. Just make sure you kind of have that middle position, take it, and you can do your glide going backwards that way. Again, you could do it that way and see what that end feel is like. One of the other things you could do is also is a sag sign. So you'll see it typically done, bend both knees up. Look at that, bring your legs up, okay? And then I've seen it you here and you can try to look to see, compare side to side. And Tony was a little bit tight <laughs> for the hips, <laughs> but if he relaxes, or sometimes I'll do is I'll come in, let's say I think it's this one, I'll come in this position and you'll feel that sag. Sometimes you'll see the tibial tubercle will drop down. You can compare the two sides. Okay, that's it. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.